compliment me. <laughs> I've been like, I'm posing. I'm literally posing in the intro for you. I'm trying to look good for you, okay? Like, I'm, I, I see you, you know, and I get excited, you know? Like, I get butterflies, and I'm thinking to myself, I want to look good today, so I pick, I pick a tight, nice little outfit. But what is this? What is this? You know, I'm here trying my best. I'm trying hard. I'm trying to look good for you. What is this? <laughs> no, Bessie, no! You're looking like you're about to walk to the gas station next door, buy yourself a biscuit. What is this? Bestie from Wish. Walmart Bestie. Wait, wait a minute. Walmart Bestie. That sounds... That sounds very familiar. Where did I hear that before? Walmart! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Actually, I feel great when you call me Sean. You can call me Sean Garbage, and I'll take it. Give it to me. Don't hit me with you look like Sean's garbage, or you look like Walmart Ch Wa Wish Sean, you know? As you can see, it's it's been on my mind. <laughs> it's been on for, for a little bit. You know, I've been, th I've been thinking about it, you know? I've been thinking about it so much. TikTok, the algorithm, has listened, and it's actually shoved a guy, a TikTok boy. Hey, besties. With a similar issue right to my face. There's a, there's a difference between me and him, okay? When he gets called the Walmart version of Justin Bieber, right? I get called the Walmart version of Shawn Mendes, but the difference is in how we react to it. So he doesn't take it very well, no. You won't believe the freaking abuse I just endured. It really hit him hard. And I'll, I wanna show you. So Carl was just a regular TikTok guy, you know? He was posting his TikToks, but then he disappeared. He just vanished, okay? And he made a comeback. And his fans just didn't recognize him. His fans were like, what? Who is this? Um. Carl? What the f- Okay, you got the idea. Hey, yo! Is my- Is my phone having hallucinations? Carl? With a mustache? Mustache. Let's calm down now. Now you call that a mustache? Um. What the heck? And a beard? Okay, now we, we're taking it too far now, okay? Um, so I have a beard. Ooh, what? Beard? Come on now. Like, uh, this is my insecurities. Did you see that? That's my insecurities are like starting, they're showing. I have a tattoo and I have... Oh. Not the Amazon stick-on tattoo. <laughs> I have a tattoo. No! Bitch, what tattoo? That's not a real tattoo. Don't even, don't even try. That's not a real tattoo. Look, I went over to his Instagram just to make sure. This is literally a picture in the same. You swipe and then boom. Look, that's the tattoo. There's no tattoo. This is a stick-on tattoo, okay? Some days he has it, some days he doesn't. Just wanted to, like, just, just needed to get <laughs> so Let's keep going. And I have purple hair. All right, I like, I like the purple hair. <laughs> but then Carl here got a comment, right? He got this comment. God, you look like Justin Bieber. And it got right into his head. <laughs> but can you blame him? Like when you, when you get compared to someone who's like, like relative, like a known good-looking guy, you know, it, it gets in your head. The first thing I did when you guys told me I looked like Shawn Mendes was I hopped onto Shawn Mendes' Instagram, okay, and I thought, let me recreate some of his pictures. It's pretty embarrassing thing, but look, my I was happy. Okay, <laughs> let me live. It's a pretty embarrassing video from my past. I didn't even want to talk about it. Oh my God, is it even still online? I hope not. I should probably remove that before Bessie finds it. Basically, the trend is about uh, finding some pictures, finding seven pictures of a really famous person and pretending to be them for a week by copying their Instagram. Oh! Ah! oh my god, and uh, uh, oh my god, ew! I liked it by accident. <laughs> Okay, anyway, anyway, oh my god, this isn't about me, okay? This, this is what Carl did when he heard that he looked like Justin Bieber. The singer just revealed his shocking new look, and you will not believe- Hey guys, I know I look a little different, um, I hope you like my new look. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no, what do you think the comments look like? I don't want to look. <laughs> I know I look a little different. Uh, hey, like, um, I hope you like my new look. Hey, like, I'm hot, like Justin Bieber. Uh, I mean, I'm a daddy. You don't look like him. Don't look anything like him. Oh, let's be real here. You guys were the same people who literally said he looks like Justin Bieber. Come on now. <sighs> I'm just born like that. He literally does kind of look like Justin Bieber, you know? It's minus the, the peel and stick tattoo. <laughs> <clears throat> but then he got the dreaded comment. 
horror. Oh, my version of Justin Bieber! <laughs> and you know, bitch. You know, he didn't take that well. No? Oh, no, he had something to say to Malatak. Yeah. Show us how it's done. Walmart version of Justin Bieber? Oh. I wish I could tell you what they sell at Walmart, but I've never been there. Never shopped at Walmart. But you seem like a Walmart expert. You probably shop there, don't you? Ah! <laughs> Shut up! Oh no, he thought he killed that! Oh no, Carl really thought he did something! Oh my god, Carl! <laughs> but you seem like a Walmart expert. Oh! Apology video! No! That was a big damn! Is that what you thought was gonna happen? Like, <laughs> Walmart is just a store. Okay. Never shopped at Walmart. You probably shop there, don't you? Like, what do you want? Where do you want me to buy my grocery from? Like, freaking Louis Vuitton? Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, where'd you buy this broccoli? Walmart? <laughs> what a loser. I bought my, buy my broccoli from Gucci. Uh. <laughs> so somebody, somebody asked him, right? Somebody asked him. Okay, someone was like, where do you get your grocery from? And he didn't stop there. Okay, babe. No, he had something to say to that. Where do you get your groceries from? To be really honest with you, um, I don't get my groceries from anywhere um, because I don't eat. Um, I starve myself. That's just not funny. That's not even something to joke about. You know, that's a little insensitive. That's not even funny. He was trying so hard to be funny. Oh my god, this is a massive face palm. This is a massive face palm. You think the, the Walmart version of Justin Bieber comments stop here? No! Someone commented. Walmart has razors so you can finish what you never did. And I don't know what they're trying to say by this comment. The comment itself is not even okay. Like, who thought this was, a, this was okay to say? You, you never, please, never tell someone to lie. This is not comedy. Okay, but you know what's comedy? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what's comedy? His embarrassing comeback. <laughs> Man, just can't. Carl, Carl, you just can't come back. You know, maybe it's because you, because you're, you're Carl. <laughs> I've, never, I've never heard Carl like a Carl. You know, like Spitfire, or like you know, fucking come back. No, you know, Carl's usually a nice guy that just you know. Listen, this is what he had to say to the Razor comment. Very uncalled for and extremely out of pocket and extremely unnecessary comment, but this is what he had to say. Walmart has razors so you can finish what you never did. Um, this is a sad story because no one ever showed me how to shave myself. And I'm very lucky because I don't have any hair on my body. This is the only piece of hair I have and I'm gonna keep it because it's very precious here. I'm very lucky because I don't have any hair on my body. <laughs> what is this? Oh my, he really thought he did something. He really thought he did something. No, Carl. No, no. <laughs> Carl. It smells like jealousy in here. You can tell he's like trying really hard. And you know, that's what makes me kind of sympathize. You can tell he's like really thought about it. You know, he he probably had like a script written down. He probably this is probably like the fifth time he tried to film it. These comebacks are just not it, Carl. But, but hey, you're he's a really talented guy. I mean, I'm a daddy. Okay, let's give him this. Okay, he can sing. He's actually released a lot of music too. And and, and look, this is him like telling us about it. Hello, queens. Where where did that even come from? <laughs> okay. Hey! I have a huge announcement to make. My original song is coming out June 4th. Yay! And I don't want to brag, but it's a smash. So be there. June 4th. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I'm sorry, okay. Like you can tell, like this here reminds me of the first time I filmed the video. June 4th. Yay! It's just so awkward on camera, you know? <laughs> but he's a TikToker. Like, why are you awkward on camera? Anyway, but these comments. It's, no, look at the comments. So what are you gonna perform at Walmart? Let it go. <laughs> oh, no, they're not, they're not gonna let it go. Oh no, someone said, is it available at Walmart? Oh man, Be, just, folks just won't let it go. 
Okay, he's literally trying to like move on from it and, and, it's, and it's following him, look. Oh my god, he's not like the other boys. Damn. Hmm. He actually looks more like Shawn Mendes than I do. Shut up. He looks more like Shawn Mendes. Shut up, bestie. Shut up. What is this? You got it all wrong. Back it up, Shawn Mendes. Um, I'm not Shawn Mendes, but what I do know is that my song just came out a few minutes ago and the link is in my bio. Maybe he will have to back it up. Bestie Carl, your tattoo is kind of peeling off. You should probably get a new one from like Walmart. <laughs> well, that was the story. What a lame video. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to hang out with you, you know? It's, can you not look at my, oh my God, this has been in the shot this entire video. Look, I know I have a closet right there and you're asking why my clothes are all outside the closet. It's just faster. <laughs> you're so quick to judge. You're so, you don't even know why these clothes are out here. Okay? It's actually because I'm getting kicked out. <gasps> yeah, I didn't. I didn't know if I should tell you. I wasn't sure if I should tell you or not. But here's a story, I guess. It's a pretty dramatic story. I want you to take it seriously though, okay? I don't want you I don't see you smiling as you keep a straight face. Thank you. Take me seriously for once. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Okay, you know how like we've been having talks about my beard and you've asked me to keep my beard. And you know the biggest obstacle for my beard is mom. Okay, she was like I told her I was going to keep the beard, and she was like, You can keep the beard. Not in my house. And that's it. That's literally the story. You don't believe me. <laughs> like, you don't believe me. What the f- You don't believe me. Start believing. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'm traveling, as you already know. Like, I literally talked about it in the previous video. This was a very shitty story. This was a really shitty story. It wasn't even funny. You're probably thinking, you just wasted my time. No, I didn't, because you're still here, and you chose to be here. And you're such a babe for doing that. Baby, I love you. Listen, I think we have attachment issues with each other, because this video ended, but we're still here. I was saying, I'm traveling, but I'm moving, basically, okay? I'm moving. I'm leaving this apartment, bestie. I'm going somewhere else. And you know what the biggest disaster is? Remember when I broke my closet door handle? I broke it because you guys, this is another thing that's your fault. Oh my God. Because you guys kept confusing it for a pause button and kept distracting you. Oh shit, it's in the mirror now. Ooh. I broke it, right? Now the, the freaking guarantee's gone. Anything for you, bestie. <laughs> so, so I'm moving, right? I'm traveling. Where am I going? I don't even know. I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to find myself. You know, I'm just trying to find, you know, live, love, laugh and eat, you know, eat, pray, love, live, laugh. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to live myself. Live my. <laughs> no, I'm just kind of love myself. No, I do that already. Oh wow, Riva. Oh, 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 oh. I'm. It's literally 5 p.m. What the fuck? I literally started filming at like one. <laughs> oh damn, time flies when I'm with you, baby. This is awkward. Oh, I was traveling. Where am I going? Do you want to know where I'm going? Guess where I'm going. I think my sister already kind of ruined the surprise. You know, she just jumped on the internet and said, "Oh, well, I'm going to." Yeah, she kind of ruined the surprise. I literally tried to like hide it, hide it from you guys. Judy, Judy D wanted to spoil the surprise. Judy destroy. That's what the D stands for in Judy D. Judy destroy surprise. Yeah, but you know what the D in Rebel D stands for? Rebel determined. Rebel determined to uphold surprise. So I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Listen, if you want to find out where I'm going, just hop onto Instagram because that's literally where I'm gonna be showing you the updates, okay? I'm literally gonna be going to five airports to get to my destination. So that kind of gives you an idea of how far it's gonna be from where I am, okay? Pretty far. It's a pretty far destination. But again, I want to remind you guys, like, if you're there in my final... In my final destination. If like you're there, I'm, I, you know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be feeling lonely. Okay, I, I'm, I love people. I'm a people person. But like one, maybe one or two of you, two of you max, wanna hang out and go have a cup of coffee. I don't know. You know, be best, be my bestie because you, all of you are, are really my besties. I already told you this. I literally, all my best friends out here, I met through this. They were literally just like you and I right now. But then, you know, we kind of had coffee one or two times, and now we're besties not just through here, but also like out here. Then hit me. Up. Up, okay, but it's not a date. It's not a date. It's not a date. Or is it? No, it's not. This is nice. You know, you look nice today. Just kidding. 
No, I mean, shit, fuck. I'm not kidding. I'm just like, you're bored. Fine, I'm gonna let you go. Fine, I guess. Now, you're, now you want to stay, because you're like, oh, what's he gonna talk about next? What if he talks about me behind my back, right? You don't want, you don't want that to happen. You know, what if you leave, bestie? And I'm literally talking about you with all my other besties. About you right behind your back. And you didn't know. Okay, bye. <laughs> I love you. Uh... Okay, I love you, bestie. Bye. This is probably gonna be the last video I have with my beard. I'm gonna be forced to shave it before I travel, so you gotta say goodbye to that too, okay? So today's goodbye isn't for us. It's for the beard, okay? Everybody say goodbye. Say it. Say it, Jesus. No one's gonna think you're crazy. Why do you care so much about what people think? Okay, I'm so inspiring, bitch. What the fuck? Okay, thank you. I love you. We love you. Okay, bye.